Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is the A1932 Rose Gold MacBook Air. And we were doing a repair for this one. This had a lot of liquid damage and a lot of corrosion. So this is the audio jack board that connects for the MacBook Air. Um, it's a very common piece that actually does go bad. And obviously this cable as well can go bad as well because all that corrosion, you can see how nasty that little corner is there. But um, these two parts are very important to at least to get the, the machine to turn on. So again, this uh, part is pretty important to have. We do have, we actually do sell this part on our, our website. If you want to go check out our store, it's located in the description below. And it's a very important piece. Um, it does, it helps us for a lot of repairs. And um, well, let's just show you real quick exactly parts we repaired and what some of them that we actually need to be replaced. There was pretty bad before. It looks very clean now. Uh, we did clean a lot. A lot of this whole area was damaged. And we did repair the board itself there. Um, and it did get a little bit on the screen, but at least the screen hasn't been really impacted. The connections look pretty good. Um, we also did clean this spot over here. This is where the audio board goes, and this is where the power connection goes. So as you can see, this is the, the cable that we actually did have to replace because there's too much damage. You can actually see just how much damage there is there. There's a lot of corrosion. This is the cable that goes from the audio port here, and it also has the speaker connection, and it also does have the power button connection over here. There was also a lot of damage actually on this board here, and we just cleaned it up, um, but we actually didn't really replace it yet. So let's go test to see if this is actually just a problem or if it's something else. So if we just take out the power cable here, and what we wanna do now is just take this part out because we're not really too worried about it. Okay, so if we unplug this, and now what I want to do, um, what this is going to do is this is going to be disconnected here. So nothing else will be actually connected to the main board here. So if something is shorting it out over here, it won't even affect it. Um, this will turn on by itself. And once we plug it in and put in a power connector, because it just recognizes that there, there is a power connection there. And it will turn on once it recognizes that. So we have this back plugged in. And we're just going to go ahead and plug in a charger as well. And we're going to go see if we get uh, anything here. All right, so I just plugged in the power cable. All right, and we get an Apple logo and everything. So we do know that when we unplug this part here, that it did give us something. So there definitely is a short. So let's just go take this out again, take out the power connection. So let's just undo here the connection. We're gonna go see if there's anything else. We did clean it already, but sometimes even though it's it's been cleaned, that's not gonna be enough because obviously the, the liquid damage could be too impactful. We, we do sell this cable on our store. The link should be in the description below. So just look out for that if you're interested in this cable. So let's just undo it and see anything. So the power button cable connection actually is right here. So when, when this is being undone, you just want to be always very careful. Just take that out. It's a very, it's a loose cable here. And also there is one where you can see the bottom one. That's a speaker connection. You get a little flat edge or something like that there just to take it up. Um, and then the screw down by two screws. You want to remove the board. It should come out like that. What we want to do is we want to swap out this. And this is something that um, it does go, it's a pretty common issue, especially if there's liquid spills, because you can see all the components that are necessary for this at least to turn on and work. It's a common issue. We do see a lot of like power issues with it and everything, because obviously it does connect here to the, the power switch. So it's its own switch there. And then you also have to worry about the speaker connection there. And as well as having a separate cable to connect this to the motherboard. So these are one of these little sister boards. They're called the audio jack boards. Um, we do have it actually listed in our store. If you want to go check it out, we will put that also in the link in the description. And usually if the connection is burnt here or corroded or anything like that, then you're gonna have a lot of problems. And most of the time you have to at least replace the board. All right, so let's just plug it in and go see if it does work now. Um, we got no display before, so let's just plug it in and let's go hook it up and see what it's gonna do now. So that's plugged in. So that's all screwed in. The plate's there to protect it. And let's go plug it in and see if it's going to work now. So it's plugged in. Now let's go. 
to see if it's going to do anything. All right. So as you can see, now everything is plugged in and it's working totally fine. So you can see that the liquid spill repair is actually complete now on the A1932 MacBook Air Rose Gold. Um, as you can see, when it was connected with the bad board, it wasn't able to even turn on. So you don't hear the chime, you hear nothing there. Um, that's because there is a short on this board here, and then it does impact the, the main system board. So please, guys, check out our store, and you can check the link in the description below for that. Um, please subscribe for more content. Uh, we do try to push out as much stuff as we possibly can. Your support has been really great recently, and we really do appreciate that. Um, please hit that notification bell, too, to, to know when um, we do upload right away. Please leave a like if you really did enjoy this video, and if you even checked out our store. So if you need any other parts for the A1932 MacBook Air, go ahead and check that out. We also do have other MacBook Pro parts and other Mac parts in general there. So it would be great if you guys wanted to go check that out. Otherwise, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching again, and we hope you enjoyed this video and found it very informative. So have a nice day.